I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to write equation of the line from parametric form to Cartesian form. Question here is parametric equation of the line is x equals to 2t and y equals to 5. Write the equation of this line in Cartesian form. So what we are given here is x equals to 2t and y equals to 5. That represents the line. Let me rewrite this equation. We could write this as x equals to 0 plus 2t, right? And y equals to 5 uh, plus uh, t times 0, right? So t times 0. Okay. So we could write this as 5 plus 0t. Okay. Now the idea of writing it like this is that it gives us clearly two things. One, it gives us a point. Now, point for us, we can call that point as P, will be 0, 5. Do you see that? 0, 5. It also gives us the direction vector, and it gives us the direction vector, which we could write as 2, 0. Do you see that? 2, 0. That becomes the direction vector. Once we get it, it is easier to write the equation of the line. That's the kind of concept. Okay. Now, to write in Cartesian form, there are many methods which we could adopt. One of the simplest one is to write the equation with the parameter t, right? So what we can do here is, let's say these are our equations, right? In this case, let's isolate t. Now, in this particular case, since to isolate t, we have to divide by 0, it kind of becomes difficult. Do you see that? So that way we cannot do when we have a line which has kind of zero slope, right? Okay. So in this case, the best way is, since we know what the direction vector is, we can find the normal, right? So from here, we can find the normal. So normal will be for us, normal will be, we have to reverse this, so it becomes 0 and uh, 2 and change the sign. 0 does not really have a sign, so we get a sign 0 minus 2. We know a point, right? So at this stage, we can use the general form of Cartesian equation, which is ax plus by plus c equals to 0. And what we know here is that the normal is equal to 0 minus 2. So if I write 0 for A and minus 2 for B, what do I get? I get uh, this becomes 0, right? This becomes 0. And here we have minus 2y plus c equals to 0. And now we know that the point is 0, 5. So we have a point 0, 5 on this line. So if I substitute 0 for the value of x and 5 for y, I can calculate the value of c, right? So we could get, there's no need to put 0 here, but we can put 5 here, right? So we have minus 2 times 5 plus c equals to 0, or c is equals to 10. c equals to 10 for us. And from here, we could write down the, the equation of the line, right? So if the equation of the line becomes c is 10 so we can write minus 2y plus 10 equals to 0 as the equation of line or if we interchange then we could also write this as y equals to taking this on the right side 10 divided by 2 right 10 divided by 2 which is 5 do you see that so we actually get a line which is y equals to 5 in this particular case and that is indeed the correct equation. Well, y equals to 5, as you know, is a vertical line, which we get from the data also. Let me show you how. So let us try to sketch this line. So let's say this is our coordinate plane, right? Now here, y is equals to 5. That means for all values of x, y is just 5. Do you see that? So since y is 5, how the line should be. Think about it. 
it is a horizontal line y equals to 5 kind of like this whose y intercept is given to us 0 5 do you see that y intercept 0 5 is given to us okay so it is a horizontal line so if you would have analyzed the situation right in the very beginning you could have very easily come to the conclusion that the line is a horizontal line y equals to 5 where all the values of on the line is y equals to 5. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand how to visualize and then do the questions or when you do the questions how to go back and check whether you have the right answer or not. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the rest.